There really are a lot of things you should think about before and during your pregnancy. For example, is there a risk of passing on an inheritable disease to your baby? There are genetic tests that can help answer this question, but you don't necessarily need one. We know that um, any decision you make about your pregnancy is a personal decision. Women have choices during their pregnancy, and one choice is genetic counseling. Women, when they're pregnant, about different testing options that they have if they're interested in knowing um, certain information about their pregnancies. For example, you may want to know if your child has a birth defect or Down syndrome before they are born. Or you may want to know if there is any risk of you passing on an inheritable disease to your baby. It is something to consider, but genetic testing is not for everyone. And, and we can never tell you which way is the right way to go. Um, I understand why some women would want to forgo any testing in pregnancy, and I also understand why some women would want to have every test that's out there. Genetic counseling should be considered by couples who have abnormal results from prenatal testing, or by couples who already have a child with a birth defect or a genetic disorder. Women over 35 years old should talk to their doctors as well. And women think, oh, that means I'm at such a high risk to have a baby with a birth defect. And um, when we talk about it, you know, a 35-year-old woman really only has about a 1 in 200 chance of a chromosome problem in her babies. So if you're interested in taking or talking to a genetic counselor, just ask your OB. And if you'd like more information on that genetic counseling, go to our website, KUTV.com, and click on the Baby Your Baby link.